Yo, what's good everybody? It's your boy Alpha King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys to a new NBA 2K21 video. So today, I got a whole bunch of leaks that have been announced today, as well as a little bit of info that leaked a few days ago. And basically, I don't know what 2K is doing. I don't know if everyone's on the same page. I don't know what they're doing with creators, companies, brand. I don't I don't know what's going on. It, it seems like somebody got the wrench right now and the leaky faucet is just flowing because what's happening is as these leaks come out, it ain't on us. It ain't no hackers out there. Oh, I, am I thinking about myself as a hacker? I'm definitely not a hacker. That's Trey. But basically it's the company 2k is divulging information to these huge brands and these brands don't know what to do with that information they don't know how to hold how to cuddle that information and what are they doing letting it loose and even on the official 2k website they're letting loose on the news so hey i like the leaks i hope you guys like the leaks and i hope you're ready to enjoy these leaks let's get into it All right, so just to let you guys know, a lot of this news is coming from 2K Intel. If you guys don't know who they are, they are on Twitter. Um, I've told myself over the years that as information comes out or wherever it comes from, I'm gonna actually show my sources, let people know who I got the information from so that people don't think like, oh, iPod is hoarding info and all that. No, I got this info from somebody else. But the first thing on the list is female wide players. Now, of course, a lot of this is speculation, but it is true that there will be female mob players. We don't know what to extent, but we know for sure that there will be female mob players as well as Ronnie was live streaming on caffeine after the leak and announced that female players will be my players in 2k instead of just having their own little play. Now, now me personally, I'm hoping for a lot. I'll get into that, but here's the proof on why there will be female characters. Now, you guys see the tweet. I want to show you guys the video. Basically, what happened was 2K gave out information to the WNBA. Now, last year, when females were announced, remember I made a video showing that females were being mo-capped. What happened was Twitter fingers got crazy. We had a female uh, WNBA star tweet out that she was mo-capped and all that inside of 2K. And everybody went wild. And of course I did too. I made a video about it. But look at this leak right here. This is this got to be one of the worst. So if you go to the actual WNBA website on that day, of course, you know they have their slide screen of news, right? And in this news cycle of the actual headers on the site, I don't know who did this, but for some reason, somebody put WNBA. That you wonder was crazy when I first seen this. I thought it was like some type of like fake. Somebody made this. This looked like a generic 2K thumbnail. They literally did a white outline around two cutout female players of the of the same uh, backgrounds and put the WNBA logo behind them. I'm like, yo, my son could make this thumbnail. This is this is terrible. Who who would come up with this foolery? But as soon as Ronnie 2K uh, talked about it on his stream. That's when everybody confirmed it, start making videos about it, letting people know. Now, as far as the capacity of what I would want from female my players, bring them to the park for sure. I would love to interact with female ballers, even have their own little arena where they want to just go up against females, but be able to go against other male, well, other males, go against males inside the park. I think it would be dope. I know a lot of dudes don't want to get posterized. I play live before, so I know what it's like playing up against a female. Sometimes you get spanked, sometimes you don't. Now, the next thing is, I believe that they should have their own my career to build up their players and not just online only because that's where live failed. Um, live basically didn't have a, a career for the players. So every female had to go online and get all of their traits, all of their attributes, everything from online only. I hope that that is not the case here. Hopefully 2K seeing that mistake and will uh, work accordingly. Now, the next thing, franchise mode. I know that the people that are watching this video aren't really fans of franchise not really fans of GM league, all that, but there are fans out there. People who love to just couch play. They want to simulate. They want to, you know, make real 
trades that they think should have happened in real life happen in a game to simulate what's going on in their head. These people are very creative and I believe that they should get franchise mode as well for females. You guys see here, this is a quick tweet. It says, no more overpower hop steps at NBA 2K21. I will get to that soon. What I want to do is I want to open up this thread real quick because this is a huge thread that we need to talk about. Now, of course, all of this is jumbled all around. It's a lot of information that we all are taking in. So as you take in this information, you can write stuff down. You can make a little notepad, grab your iPhone. If you're on your iPhone, get on the computer, watch this video and write down little notes because you're going to need this stuff. Because if you are not going to hop to the next gen console and you're going to be playing a lot of current gen, this is definitely for you. All of this information is for current gen PS4, Xbox one X. Don't talk to me about PS5, and Xbox series X right now. This is current gen. Okay. Tunnel vision. You with me? Cool. A very insightful, detailed, and just downright bonkers blog posts from Mike Wang. Now we all know that 2k and Mike Wang have been together for a very long time. And when it comes to learning about gameplay and what's in store for the next game, a lot of us lean towards Mike Wayne to either get his ear about how the game is going to be played, um, get his, his thoughts on how dribbling is going to be, how shooting is going to be, if hop steps are going to go, j just everything, right? So to start this off, this is the beginning screenshot. Not only was it jumbled all around throughout the thread but i found out that this looks like the beginning because it say hey what's up 2k community now if you've been reading this while i've been talking basically you know he's talking about how everybody's cooped up um also it's a new year of 2k hoops with nba 2k21 um of course who they work with visual concepts they want to bring the best experience to both current and next gen now he's telling you that he's super excited um also, amazing advances that they're bringing to the 2K basketball with the power of next-gen systems. But for today, they want to talk about current gen. Now, of course, they got you hyped with the first paragraph. Oh, next gen. Oh, wait, that's that's all my eyes went to, next gen. Where? But they're talking about current gen. So, basically, it says that the game will be launched on September 4th, the day before my birthday. And it's coming on, on Xbox One, Switch, PS4, Stadia, and PC. Now it says, uh, best of all, you'll have the opportunity to check out how the game plays for yourself when we release the NBA 2K21 demo August 24th for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch. So, PC and Stadia, you don't get a demo. If you want to play the demo, get another console. Um, also, August 24th, big uh, announcement for the demo, which is good. Now, we're getting this early. I don't know if they were supposed to roll this out because all of this is leaked. It essentially got uploaded to their server for their website and it was immediately taken down. I don't know if they had like a huge rollout that they wanted to give people, but this is what we got. All right. So Dame time, it says I had an opportunity to jump on a zoom call with cover athlete Damian Lillard a few months back. Now, remember, this is a blog post written by Mike Wang. So everything where he says, I, we, this is Mike Wing and his experience and what he's talking about for the blog post. Okay. So uh, it says he is a huge 2K gamer and had a ton of great feedback and ideas for NBA 2K21. But his biggest request being able to make an oversized point guard in my career. Dame, you a cheeser, dog. You, you one of those. You, you a cheeser, bro. But basically, it says uh, so for all you Penny Hardaway wannabes. You have Dame to thank for that as we have upped the max height for point guard to 6'8", which means it has to mean 6'10 small forwards, 6'11", 7 foot small forwards. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, if we got a point guard that can go to 6'8", my small forward got to be 7 foot. Who, who wouldn't want to make Giannis? I feel like 2K should have been... Uh, running off of KD's uh, height chart for their builds. They should have been doing that. 6'10 just ain't enough. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes we want to be agile and tall and be able to do what Kevin Durant does or Giannis does. We, we've we seen so many 2K build videos this year talking about LeBron James build, Giannis build, all of, all of these players that honestly we can't make. Like I seen Duke make a Kevin Durant build and he was 6'6". 
know what I'm saying? <laughs> it don't make sense. You know what I mean? Because 2K is not giving us all the tools of the trade. So here, six, eight point guards. Um, it says Dame continued to share his likes and dislikes of the gameplay, which we then added to the running wish list that we are already had from the community. After compiling all the feedback, we came away with a great list of items that we knew the community wanted to see improved. Long passes down court sailing out of bounds. That's something that we've always talked about. Nobody never runs the sidelines. You never, you never outlet on the sidelines. You know why? Because the ball's going out of bounds and you're going with it. Um, let's see. It came up with the with skill based solutions that would be more fun and fair for everyone. It said we always prided ourselves as being the most authentic basketball simulation on the market. This is where they boast themselves. You know. They, they talk very highly of themselves and that will never change. But one of the challenges that we face is striking the right balance between simulating real life and making a game that's fun and enjoyable for a wide range of fans. That's where the debate of skill gap versus accessibility comes into play. The target we shoot for is to create a game that's easily pick up and play for new users while also providing enough of a skill gap for veteran users to really showcase their talent. One way uh, we set out to accomplish this through building out a robust set of sliders and carefully mapping the appropriate settings to all the various modes in our game. So whether it's your first time playing against the CPU in a quick play, messing around with your buddies in the park, or battling in high stakes anti up or competitive pro-am match, there's a wide range of gameplay experiences and definitely something for everyone in NBA 2K21. So, three things. Park is back, anti up is back, competitive pro-am is back. I did see in the trailer, I did see the rec center within the screenshot of the neighborhood. So rec center also is coming back to current gen. Okay. Um, also it says to sum it up, sum up this section, I don't really have a fancy back of the box marketing name for the work with that went into the gameplay balance and funifying the on court experience, but I'm pretty confident that longtime fans of 2k basketball will notice the improvements and appreciate what team or what the team was able to accomplish. Okay, so we've went over the intro uh, from Mike Wayne. We've went over Dame Time. Now let's talk about the Pro Stick for a moment. Um, me personally, I love the Pro Stick for dribbling only. Um, I don't really use it for shooting. I press square all the time. But it seems like, of course, I've read this. It seems like they're trying to advance the Pro Stick and do more with it. I want to get your thoughts in the comment section, what you think about this after I read this post, okay? So it says the pro stick has been a staple of 2K basketball for years now, and for the most part has largely gone unchanged since the inception. For NBA 2K21, we saw this as a big opportunity to freshen up the game on the offensive end. In past games, you could hold the pro stick in any direction to take a jump shot. This was limiting us from utilizing the right stick as a fully featured dribble stick. So this year, we're making a pretty significant change to how the pro stick works. So let's go ahead into the next uh, screenshot. Okay, so these are now the controls for the pro stick, okay? Now, if you don't know what the pro stick is, it's the right thumb stick on your controller, okay? Uh, if you hold the right stick down, it's for your jump shot. If you hold the right stick to the left or right, it escape dribble moves. If you hold the right stick up, it'll go with the signature size up that has returned from me, me a 2k 19, um, tap the right stick to do quick one-to-one -one dribble moves. So I'm guessing if you flick it, you flick it, you know what I mean? Just cross behind the back cross stuff like that. Um, tap the right stick with sprint. Hell does quick momentum dribble moves. Now remember every single year, since dribbling has been like a thing, we always ask Mike, what's the criteria for momentum dribbling, speed boosting, stuff like that. If you guys don't know about your ball handling and your uh, actual speed with ball and stuff like that, that's a whole nother video. You should know about that if you're a dribbler, okay? Now, it says, with this change, we've been able to greatly expand the dribble move arsenal and give you access to more moves and the more intuitive control scheme. After a game or two, it will feel second nature and will have you breaking ankles in no time. That's where I have a problem. I hope that I'm not breaking ankles in no time. Okay. But maybe, maybe this means that we won't really need badges like that. Maybe the badges really won't hinder us, you know, but Hey, I remember when NBA 2K20 launched and everybody bring their stretch bigs to the park and couldn't shoot. <laughs> they left the park. It, it was crazy. It was insane. Everybody said, Oh, this game is terrible. We can't shoot. We can't shoot. 
We didn't have no badges. We didn't have quick draw. It was a lot going on. But let's go ahead and um get back to this. It says, uh, along with the remap, the moves themselves has have been overhauled to be much more responsive and chainable. Street moves have been moved to a tap of the left trigger as well, so you won't be firing them off by accident when you're breaking down defenders in a park. Thank you. I hate it having park dribbles on and randomly when I'm doing my moves, I do a, a between a leg spin off. Like, bro, I was like, yo, these moves is insane. I had to take them off. So I'm glad that now you can tap the left trigger and be able to pull off your park moves and, and stay in your NBA size ups and stuff like that. It says we've um, for NBA size ups, we've added several new signatures like Harden's around the leg dribble, a new version of Kobe's dance and Durant's patent Hezzy cross. The Hezzy cross probably going to be stupid. Another NBA legend, Nate Robinson, came in for motion capture this year and gave us some really unique moves that I'll leave for you to find as well. Everybody know what that means, right? Check out Nate Robinson package. Duh. Um, let's see. You can also perform size up dribbles on the move by holding the pro stick up and using the left stick to move your player in any direction. All right. So to follow up that, we have um, something that says you can also perform size up dribbles on the move by holding the pro stick up and using the left stick um, in any direction. Um, you can choose from a list of 14 park and 36 unique NBA size ups. That's insane. And when you factor it in all the one to one size up packages and new customizable escape dribbles, there's really no limit to the types of combos you can pull off in NBA 2K21. Now, let's be honest. As soon as G Man, Steezo, like as soon as these dudes come out with their dribble packages and stuff like that. It's really over. Downward come out with his. It's really over. I know what I'm using. You know what I'm saying? I'm not really going to stray away from watching YouTube videos on what dribble packages work the best and chain the best. That's every year stuff. It's tutorials. I'm going to watch it. I'm going to learn that. And I guarantee you the entire community will be dribbling the exact same. But thank you for all the new moves. <laughs> now, let's talk about shooting. It says dribble moves weren't the only thing that benefited from the pro stick upgrade. Jump shooting and finishing at the rim were points of emphasis as well. We all know this. If you pull the trigger down to a certain way, you do a, a two hand dunk, one hand dunk, right, left, uh, a flashy dunk, stuff like that, right? So we really wanted to make scoring at the basket a skill both from the perimeter and at the rim. So we brainstormed and prototyped a number of various shooting me mechanics for this year's game. What we settled on was the idea conceptually similar to something we tried in NBA 2K17. Shot stick aiming. I didn't like it. <laughs> but uh, aiming didn't really work that well in NBA 2K17 because it was a bit buried, but and it didn't have much skill built into it and didn't give the user any feedback. We took those learnings and used them to create a better solution this time around. For NBA 2K21, when you shoot with the pro stick, the shot meter changes from a timing bar to a targeting system. So instead of trying to stop the shot meter when you reach the perfect release window, you adjust the pro stick in real time to hit the ideal center aim point. The target window resizes dynamically based on the player ability, shooting range, and how well the shot is contested and can also shift the left to the left or right based on the shot's degree of difficulty. Now, I'm going to tell you this right now. I may make one video with that pro stick shooting. After that, <laughs> I'm going back to Tommy because uh, I know my Tommy. <laughs> if you if it's too far to the left or too far to the right, the shot will miss in that direction, right? And it says, as he, as he mentioned, Mike Wang, above with the new slider sets, even the slightest degree might be the difference between a make and an air ball on Hall of Fame. Yeah, I'm not. I'm definitely not using that because I play on Hall of Fame. Um, while it's quite a bit more forgiving on the easier difficulties, you also won't be penalized for using the entire shooting motion to find the sweet spot. In other words, you don't have to time your release when you're shooting with the pro stick. But if you want to take it to the next level and know your release, you can lock in your timing and aim by either centering the pro stick or by tapping one of the triggers when you reach the apex of the shot. The lock in the the lock in will be indicated by a brief flash on the shot meter. If you can time and aim well, 
you will give yourself the best chances to make that shot. Um, that sounds super difficult. I don't know how many people are going to have time to do all this dribbling, hide behind the screen, and get the timing and aiming all perfect. That's going to be insane. If you can do that in 2K21, I'm going to high five you for sure. Um, it says the aiming concept also applies to finishing layups, replicating the idea of having good touch around the rim. As you're driving, you can still hold the pro stick in any direction to start a layup. But this year, you'll want to quickly swing the stick to move the aiming tick to the center of the target. This seems unreal. We went from making very early 100% smothered layups to this. This is crazy. All right. Um, also, aiming layups will, well can help overcome shot contests and help you finish through contact. Personally, it has been hard for me to go back to the shot button after getting used to the pro stick. See, they want people to step away from that 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 square button, that that X on the Xbox controller. They want people to step away from that. You see what they're doing, right? See, you see what they're doing. We ain't gonna do it. All right. Um. <laughs> Uh, let's see. It says, and because shooting with the stick offers a bit more complexity than just holding and releasing a button, it also carries a greater risk slash reward. If you can master shooting with the pro stick, you'll have a higher ceiling for getting greens and making tough shots. So if you're a corner sitter and your dude slides over, you might be one of those people that might want to shoot with your pro stick. But I'm telling you, if I'm doing all this dribbling and all that, I ain't gonna have time to. Uh, uh, oh, like, no, I'm not doing all that, bro. You see. Oh, this art. Ah, no, not doing that. <laughs> um, let's keep let's keep moving on. All right, so moving on, it says so. I'm pretty sure it's going to be the shot method of choice for so many competitive 2K players. But since I know some will ask, yes, there's an option to disable shot aiming. Thank God, Mike. You the man, baby. Um. <laughs> Um, if you really want to go back to last year's controls, great. Perfect. I mean, I might want to learn it if I got a pure sharp or a two-way sharp or something like that. But other than that, no. Um, on the shooting animation side, you can expect a plethora of new shot types, including James Harden's unique one-foot running fade. And a quick note for all park players. We've added over 40 new park jump shot landings for you to show off with when you hit from outside 40 more jump shot landings okay i like it on the defensive end you can expect a much stronger presence from bigs in the paint block targeting system has been improved so it will be easier to send weak shots back and we've loaded up more coverage for contact in the paint to slow down overpower moves like last year's hop step layup now the grand Last year's hop step layup. Nah, we ain't just talking about hop step layup. We talking about hop steps, period. I could hop step dunk on three defenders. I can hop step travel hop step dunk on players. It, the hop step alone was crazy. Either fancy footwork got to be nerfed or tuned or it got to go. Cause it used to jostle players. Hops that oh, I can't guard that. Where'd he go? Oh, he's scoring. Dang. That's how it was last year, bro. Now uh, let's move on to motion styles. So motion styles. Last year we introduced signature dribble styles, which gave Magic Johnson his unique up court waddle, Steve Nash's finger licks, yeah, and much more. Uh this upgrade has now made it way onto the defensive end with signature defensive motion styles here's a list of players you can model your player movement after russell westbrook Giannis, lebron Kawhi, pat bev andre Iguodala, and draymond green I already know everybody gonna probably pick Giannis because of the stride I already know it long wingspan you probably want to have Giannis's uh player movement i'm just saying in addition to this movement has um undergone several refinements both with the ball and without to provide a more consistent and responsive feel on the sticks. Okay, so let's talk about badges. So it seemed like everybody was a big fan of how we redesigned the badge system last year with the ability to swap badges in and out as you upgrade. Yeah, I cannot lie, that was a W. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to just be able to swap them out whenever I wanted to, not when I actually maxed all of them out, but hey, that's just me. 
It says throughout the life of NBA 2K21, we collected telemetry data that gave us a detailed breakdown of what badges people were equipping for certain build types and which ones weren't being used as much. This was very useful in helping us redesign and tune the badges for NBA 2K21. I think you'll find out that more badges will have merit and fight for a spot in your badge loadout, give you more effective tools and take over games in a more varied fashion. And here's some good news. I know that the community will appreciate. We removed quick draw and put release speed back into jump shot creator. So that's one thing you won't have to waste your precious badge points on. Y'all should have never did that. Y'all know what y'all did. Y'all had everybody going to hell through it. You know what I'm saying? Shoot, goddamn quick. Goddamn quick draw. Can't stand. <laughs> All right, so for closing thoughts from Mike Wang, as you guys can see, his name is at the bottom. It says Mike Wang, NBA 2K gameplay director. And it's crazy because you see how he got his ad right there? I'm glad they promote my man Twitter. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad. You know what I'm saying? Get that man a million followers. You know what I'm saying? Um... As always, I want to give a huge shout out to all the gameplay engineers and producers, as well as the talented team at VC South who worked and are still working tirelessly to deliver the best basketball game to date. The current gen versions of NBA 2K21 are a great step forward for virtual hoops. And stay tuned in the coming months for all the goodies we have in store for you on the next gen platforms. They're still egging me on about these next gen. I need the info. Mike, call my phone. Um... The future is very bright for 2K fans, and you won't want to miss what we're cooking up for you. But until then, thanks so much to all of you for your ongoing support and feedback year in and year out. Now, as far as support, I know what that is. Feedback, we be we be calling y'all all kinds of names. I know I know y'all be pissed off when y'all read some of them tweets. You know what I'm saying I don't get down like that no more. You know what I'm saying, but I I know y'all be going crazy when y'all see these tweets like this mother. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Um, also, uh, where was I? Um, NBA 2K has always been a collaboration between the most passionate fans and dedicated developers in the industry. You see how he put the fans and the devs in the same boat? You know what I'm saying? That's what we need. You know what I'm saying? Give us a little bit more of that. You know what I'm saying? We, oh, y'all trust us. And we couldn't do what we do without you. Stay safe and healthy, and we'll see you in the virtual streets. So that right there is the leaked news. Um, everything up until today that you guys will need to know about. If you need to rewatch this video as many times to get a grip on what I was talking about, perfectly fine by me. Um, I will allow people to put timestamps inside the comment section to give people, you know, a, a gist of what we were talking about. I may even put them in the comment section so we can talk about, you know, the badges, the shooting, the pro state, the closing thoughts, the dame time, everything, right? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys like, appreciate all the love. Uh, new UFC for career mode videos on the way. Playlist somewhere for that. But I will holler at you guys later for more NBA 2K21 news. Peace.